hello everyone welcome to another art of conquest video and today it's all about pvp i just got home from work i'm very tired but there has been a lot of activity on my house and there has been a lot of fighting and i didn't want to miss it because there is a lot of activity going in my house and the fights would have been lost in addition to, to this video i'll add a, another fight so basically this video will be just about fighting all the players just pvp that's all about is this video is going to be so i'm not gonna bore you to that talking i'm just gonna show you some replays very good fight very nice fight and the reason i'm i'm showing you this fight is this fight is um, so you can see that everything i'm trying to show you in all my videos it's helping a lot and this is what I can do with my army and all the tips I have been following through all this this time of playing so all the tips from all the video this is basically practice that I'm showing you right now obviously the power of the heroes the power of the army it doesn't matter but I have this because I, I followed everything that I showed you in the previous videos. And there is still more to come about it. As I was telling you, Cavalry versus Darv, it's, it's insane. They do insane amount of damage. Let's see some statistics. As you can see, the top damage is actually, it's actually the Templars. And the Crusaders. As you can saw in my previous videos, if you if you are watching, usually the archers were the the top damage dealers, but here is the the Crusader and the Templars. That's how good they are versus Dwarfs. This is gonna be the second one. No, I click the same one. This is the second one. I had only injuries. We were fighting on their land. I was trying to get. Uh, I I actually did. I took down one of their cities, and uh, they were trying to defend it. So they had no losses for them. It was just injuries. I used the same setup from the previous battle and the reason I'm, I'm keep using this setup everywhere is because the power of, of my army all it matters it's pure damage and a lot of health at this point because I'm so higher level than they are if I would be same same level I would probably use a way different setup as you can saw my, my fight with uh, that player Magic, which is the highest power player on, on the server, which I can beat. I always use different setup with him. Same setup. I'm not sure if 
if you not notice or if you want to play the video slower or how would you like to do it but one mistake all of them did their heroes went in, went in from way too fast they weren't on, on the safe side as I said the heroes that always go on the front is better if you put them left or right in the corners so it takes them much longer to get in in the front once one of, one of the your heroes or the enemy heroes die the moral chain boost starts and basically is the end of it most of the times or sometimes so this is one mistake that most of most of them did which they lost or at least they didn't they didn't do damage as they were hoping so this one is a bit more spicy he used gold skeletons not sure if that was a smart idea to, to do I mean obviously you, know, you have to use them at some point but still in PvP the skeleton they, they simply die if you put them in garrison some of them keep resurrecting I don't know or at least I, I wouldn't I wouldn't use them in PvP so basically he lost those skeletons they are gone forever So for me it was was the same setup, the same setup as, as previous. All in total and with the city capture and everything I had about 5 hours of healing and that's about it so all this fighting and to take the city 5 hours of healing I apologize again as I said I'm after work I'm very tired but I didn't want this fight to, to go away as there are many others which I didn't record in addition to this one I will add a lot a lot more fights and I will make a very nice video where it will be just pure PvP. So until next time have a good night, have a good morning, have a good afternoon, whichever part of this beautiful world you are. Peace out. So, as you can see in the video, the biggest problem was Avalon. He went straight in the front and died. And Virion and Elena. And they move that first because of our own boost. Hello everyone. Recall 12 missed me and requested another movie. So here I am. I was going to farm some resources and Luckily me, I got in Rivendell, and this is what happened. Lost a lot, so only four troops, I said, ah, I can take them, lost three catapults. 
It's really bad. What can you do? And keep working my way to take it down. Mr. Dom25 decided to give it a go. I didn't lost anything, just injuries. But I was not prepared for him to use this amount of gold troops. So I just used my random farming setup. All my silver archers were down because I lost them on the wall. Didn't, didn't expect to be gold archers on the wall, so <laughs> had to use bronze archers here. Good thing I, I froze his archers. That's a good win. Yep. So they have a pretty nice healing time. Alright, thank you for watching. Yeah, this is a quick video about a very nice battle, very equal, just so you can see the power of the archers. Archers and upgrades, they make a difference insanely. So this guy had 32 Avalon and 30 Elena, 32 Avalon and 24 Elena as level. Let's watch it. I would say it was very equal. It was just troop deployment, uh, the, the arrangement of, of the troops that was a, was a bit wrong for the BA Cup, the enemy, also the heroes, was not very well, very well arranged, but the moral boost, the moral boost changes, kills it, when humans, human troops start going in moral boost changes, it was very fast, I was expecting it a little bit longer, but it was very fast. So yeah, good job, Kirito. You done it. I'm just gonna add this to one of the videos. I'm not sure which one. I hope it was interesting enough. <laughs>